Here's another example that we'll solve using estimation. And this is what I call a bad example. Note that estimating involves introducing an inaccuracy and sometimes you can get large errors. If both of the factors round up or down, then, then you can end up with sometimes a very significant error that you'll see in this example and in the next one. There will be 150 people at the picnic. Each person will eat about two and a half hot dogs. How many hot dogs do we need to buy to get ready for the picnic? Well, if I round these numbers, if I round 150 to 200, you can see that's a pretty severe rounding. And two and a half, if I round that up to three, and then I multiply 200 times three, I get 600. So I go by 600 hot dogs. It turns out that that's way too many because I rounded each of these original numbers up. If I were to actually multiply 150 times two and a half, the actual number is 375. And if I go out and buy 600 hot dogs, I'm buying 225 hot dogs too many. So I'll end up wasting a lot of money and end up with a lot of hot dogs left over that I don't necessarily want or need. Here's another example. This one illustrates the same point. There are 143 kids at the summer camp. We will buy each one a t-shirt for $13.50. Round the numbers to get a quick estimate of the total. Well, if I take 143 and say that's approximately 100, you can see that that's a pretty severe rounding, and I'm rounding down. And if I take $13.50 and say that's approximately $14, and then I multiply 100 times 14, and you can see that comes out to $1,400. That's my quick estimate of the total cost. And that's going to be pretty far off just because this rounding from 143 to 100 was really severe. The actual answer, if I multiply 143 times $13.50, the actual answer is $1,930.50. And you can see that this is a case where we would not want to round to get a quick estimate. If you order 143 t-shirts and they're $13.50 each and you show up with $1,400 to pay for them, they're not going to give you the t-shirts. They're going to want this much. They're going to want the actual cost. So this is a, an example where rounding is not appropriate. When people are dealing with money, they typically want to deal with exact amounts and have the payments balance exactly to the penny. So this is a case where estimating would not be appropriate.